Bring me up. 4.15 and call the meeting to order. Let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, to put the minutes on hold. We will post them as draft on the the minutes from the last meeting. I can't sign them. There's only one of us here. So when Mark is back, we'll bring those back up and we'll post them as drafts. I want to make a motion to seal the non-public minutes. First. I second that. All those in favor? Aye. And it was under um, RSA 91A32D under acquisitions. Okay, Council Payable. So we're still working our way through sharing everything, so it takes us a couple of minutes. This is the check voucher totals payroll for the week ending. March 30 to 19, $153,361.49. Accounts payable, $34,059.39. Total general fund payments, $187,420.88. That we approve these vouchers. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Sewer warrant from Kelly Skeen, town, clip tax, town clerk. Um, hereby to collect charges that listed here and committed to you under the amount of sum of $84,397 with penalties after May 10, 2019. Therefore, all sums that are not paid on or before that date. Make a motion that we sign this. I second it. All those in favor? Aye. Signing that, I'll read the log from the transfer station from 324 to 330. On Sunday, 324, they sorted recyclables, recyclables, produced two bales of paper, one bale of plastic, monitored the daily activity and cleaned the area. On Monday, 325, they sorted recycle, recyclables, shipped demo containers five and six, monitored the daily activity and cleaned the area, burn brush, blue snow banks for Earth Day. On Thursday, 328, they sure they shipped them. Um, is that mixed MSW? Yeah, that's the household trash. Right there. Yeah. Container number two. Clean the area, attach the empty container to the compactor, sort of the recyclables, monitor the daily activity. On Friday, they shipped the MSW, which is household waste container number one, and demo container number three. Clean the areas, put the containers in place, sorted the recyclables. And on Saturday, they sorted the recyclables and produced one, produced one bale of cardboard monitor the daily activities. I have a payroll reinvestment request from the Austin Water and Sewer Department of 
$3,252.48. I make a motion that we pay this reinvestment request. Second. All those in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. I have a yield tax levy warrant, uh, tax uh, warrant from Fred Bickford, trustee, map 101, lot 5, for $1,098.13. I make a motion we accept this warrant. We'll sign in a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have another tax warrant. From Maxfield Property Holdings, Inc. Map 101, Lot 1, for $3,070.61. I make a motion to pay, uh, to collect this warrant of $3,070.61. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Motion carries. Aye. I have another intent to cut timber warrant from Lee Steel Hobbs Trustee, Map 18, Lot 11, for $2,616.07. I make a motion to approve this warrant. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. This is another. It just needs a second picture. Warren. That needs to be put aside because Martha needs to sign it from last week, I believe. I have another timber tax warrant
from my home, LLC, Map 277, Lot 4, Map 278, Lot 1, for $4,425.83. I make a motion to approve this warrant. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Here, the last meeting when we did this, we have decided as a board to share the responsibilities of the red folder so that when you when it's your turn to be chairman, you're not caught short and don't know what's going on. It's always been that the chairman read everything and you just said yes, no, and then when it came to your turn, you were kind of faced with the whole thing. So we're trying to share these responsibilities. Another timber tax warrant from Ossipi Aggregates Corp. Map 267, Lot 4, and Map 267, Lot 8, for the amount of $13,672.52. I make a motion we approve this warrant. Second. All those in favor? Okay. I have another timber tax warrant from Tom Fadden and Harold Whitaker for Map 240, Lot 4, for the amount of zero. There was no timber cut. I make a motion we approve this uh, warrant. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Motion carries. Sign-ups for travel softball are currently open, so anyone anyone who has kids in the grades four through six who are interested uh, can call me uh, for number 
539-1307. And uh, on April, Saturday, April 20th, we have the annual Peace Day Hunt that's hosted by uh, you know, OSPE Rec Department and the OSPE Old Home Community. Can I talk about this? I actually got it right here. And also we have a spring brochure that's good for the next two months, uh, April and May. Uh, you can pick it up at the town hall or at the library. And uh, It's posted on the website. And it's also posted on the website. And we'll have a summer brochure that will come out in uh, mid-May. Okay, thank you. Let's do it Brad? Yep. <coughs> um, let's see. Basically, in the spring here, the highway department, we're pretty much touching up potholes and roads and stuff like that, waiting for the thaw to finish coming here this spring. Hopefully, it's coming soon. Um, so we're in the process of that. I think later on, you're going to see all the, uh, the quotes I got in there for the sidewalk project, which we're hoping to get going as soon as the weather breaks for us, uh, hopefully around the end of the month or first part of May here. And let's see. <coughs> For the covered bridge, I did try and reach out to them there to get an update for today. I didn't hear anything back, uh, but it's still, as far as I know, they're still shooting for mid-April to put it out to bid for the relocation of the covered bridge up there on uh, Bear Camp River on uh, Covered Bridge Road. I think that's pretty much it for the highway. 28171? Uh, no updates. I haven't got any updates on that at all other than it's... So I think it's out to bid right now and stuff, so it's, they're still on schedule to do it this summer and have it operational by the end of this building season and finish up the cleanup work uh, probably in the spring next year. They won't quite get all the finished work done, but it'll be all installed. So. Okay, we talked today about putting a small, there's a tree over by the railroad station restaurant. Um, I know we have to go run this by DOT, but that tree doesn't get tall, it just spreads out a little bit. And something so it's visual in the center of that. Um, do we have a say over what goes in there? It's like spreading news. We, I don't think we're going to get the garden plug. So I'm yeah. thinking that we need to do something that's non-maintenance. Yeah. I, I think we definitely have some input on that with DOT. They definitely want to have input on their end of it also. So I think it would be a, a partnership, if you want to call it that, between the town and the and DOT. Uh, to do some kind of landscaping in there, so yeah, I think that's something perfect. like spreading news and yeah. something that's that we don't have to put people in the right. center there, it's pretty dangerous, yeah. but, but something so it's above just enough so that people can see when they're coming over right. the hill, they, yeah. they're not even going to notice that unless yeah. there's something in the middle of the road. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. Um, transfer station, we have a we're basically uh, trying to get ready for April 20th, which is our Earth Day. Um, put that out there. We'll keep announcing that every week to let everybody know that's coming up. Um, that's Saturday, April 20th. Yeah. We're moving snow banks over there now to kind of speed up the melting process and give us elbow room. Um, but that's pretty much routine over there. You just read in the work log there. They're you know recycling and and uh, you know creating bales. We have what a bale of cardboard and a bale of paper ready to, I mean, a truckload of each to go out. We're getting pros and prices on those right now for, for the commodities there to sell those off. Okay, so so the town of Tamworth has gone to um, commingled. Mm -hmm. They're spending about half a month of what we're paying. I know we still have a contract, but I'd like to look into that when, when our contract is up. Yeah, I mean, you can be only... The only thing you get with a, with a coal mingle is you end up paying all the tipping fees on all the recyclables that we're now pulling out. They still do cardboard and aluminum. Yeah. They still do, and, and I have some information, I don't happen to have it with me, I think they gave it to Alan, but, um, and I'll get that to you okay. as to, because they're paying, I think they're literally paying half of what we're paying in yeah. a month. And for. it depends on the volume we're putting out too, obviously, right. to what we're putting out. So, yeah, so we have, we'll take a look at it. And, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I have another question about these trailers. Whose responsibility is it to to um, to clean the roofs? It's you know, it's the responsibility of, of the crews crews over there to you know keep the roofs cleaned off and stuff. There, um, we had this, the one of them is a very was very weak. We had problems with that about six or seven years ago. 
Um, we had a light winter, we had a few light winters lately, so it probably got away from us as far as keeping after that and stuff. This year was a heavier snow load, so uh, we actually had braces on the inside of those two, I think. Both of them were just one of them, I think. We so had braces on the inside to support the roof there. I don't see any braces. I, I mean, the, well, they, this one's totally collapsed. Right, yeah. So. I mean, that's another, we're going to have to get new containers. So that's something we yep. need to monitor. Yeah, yeah. And that's another expense to the ta yep. taxpayer. So, thank you. And, Bo, are you going to do your own report? Yeah. Um, we've got readers. Can you tell us who you are? Yeah. Wayne Eldridge, us, the water and sewer. Um, we read meters last week. The water meters, everything went well the first time. <laughs> <laughs> you were able to read them all remotely now? Yeah, remotely, yeah. That's great. Um, and everything went well for us. Um, last week, we were trying to help some, some more of the thaw, thaw of the line, yes. the frozen water line. We didn't succeed, but we helped the best we could. Okay. Um, It'll thaw. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I have to do quarterly water reports right now to the state. Every three months, I have to how much water we use, the chemical monitoring, how much chlorine we use. Every three months, that has to be sent to the state. We have to do by the tenth. I'm doing that. Um, I've been getting some prices. I have some water lines I like to try to replace this summer. So I'm getting, I guess, some contractors give me some prices. Hopefully, we can do some line replacement. There's some of the things that we've been doing right lately. Well, that should, you've got a little more time with the with the remote reading. Does that help? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went from a day and a half to an hour and a half. <laughs> ah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, awesome. yeah, and it's, and it's accurate. And if I, I can go over it, and if I see someone that looks like they're using too much water, I can go see them and explain it to them and try to help them out. That's and great. I can catch it before it's too late. Right. So, yeah, it, it actually works well. Face-to-face works really well. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Thank you, um, Joe. Jordan Shane, Chief of Police. Chief of Police. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. These are basically just the statistics, excuse me, for the police department for the uh, month of March. Uh, we had a total incidents were 198 for the month of March with 16 arrests. Uh, we can break those down. Uh, we had four simple assaults. One criminal threatening, four thefts, uh, let's see, two criminal mischief complaints, one drug violation, two bad checks, one disorderly conduct, three drunkenness, which is drunk and disorderly basically, four trespass, two calls to assist other agencies, uh, two disturbances, one missing person, one sudden death, one welfare check, one suspicious activity, five traffic arrests, and 152 point vehicle stops. Uh, and seven more vehicle accidents, I apologize. For a total of 198, 16. It's a busy, it's a busy month. When was this? This is March? This is March. Wow. Um, these reports, if anybody wants one, we can provide you with one, but these are, will be posted on the website. We're working on that now. Along with their monthly budget stats will also be posted. Um, so when it comes budget time, there should be a lot less questions. People can see how money is being spent and what they're doing, what they're producing in the, in the process. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll provide you a copy electronically for the website. Thank you. So, Appreciate that. Yep. Um, and Kelly, would you like me to just talk about your report, or would you like to talk about it? You can go right ahead. I got access for people who would like it. This is, this is um, <laughs> maybe you'd be better to explain it than I can. <laughs> okay, so I gave to the board of selectmen at our finance meeting that we have once a month, the first uh, Monday of the month, is a breakdown of what we received in taxes for the month. This is for the month of March. And also, I also gave them the breakdown of what we do for autos, dogs, licensing. Um, so I've given those to them. Things that we are going to be doing, we are in the middle of what's called lien processing. So April 23rd, if your taxes aren't paid by April 23rd at 4.30 in my office, a lien will be placed on your property. The next product we're working on will be deeding. So if anybody is coming in close to having their property deeded, it's best to come in and visit with us, talk with us, and make a payment plan. 
And believe it or not, we are getting ready to do tax bills to go out the first part of May. <laughs> so here, here are some copies. Thank you. Thank you. All the money our taxpayers have brought in. And Mr. McConaughey, our zoning enforcement officer. Have you been busy? I've been very busy. <laughs> Uh, apartment buildings, uh, health reasons, uh, government buildings, it's been a long one to, to, to quite a bit of damage. Uh, the outside bins to get some work done. The outside of this building, uh, we've got bathroom clean water, ladder cleaned out, we've got closets where we, I've got to fix your heat by your day, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, building permits, there's a lot of building permits going on. Uh, Westwood Shores, the campgrounds, we're just starting up. Uh, we've got Probably another eight months, and they've all got that's 270 units that have to be raised. To meet the uh, FEMA reg regulations? This is all FEMA. This, this is all FEMA. So, what Steve's talking about, producer, what Steve's talking about is that the campground, when it was sold, many of the camps in there did not come, did not meet the FEMA regulations for the uh, flood height, and so those, those units need to be raised with an open base so the water can flow through. Um, and that's what he's working on now. Do we see more commercial and what are we seeing, residential or commercial? A lot more commercial coming this way. Not much for residential this year. Last year was very busy residential. This year I see commercial heading up this way. You know, uh, the apartment building is back on track. Uh, hopefully people are going to be moving in in another two weeks okay. and putting it back together. Well, thank you for that. Either. That was helpful. Yeah. yeah. That was good. Uh, that's very busy. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, so you want to move? Right there. So. And if you want any of these reports, just ask. We'll make them available. Which one of these did you read? Did you read that one? And that's the highway. I read the I read the um, recycle facility. That's why we. This is the highway department work log. March 24, 19, to March 30, 19. Monday, March 25, 19, checked all routes, removed the sanders from truck number three and number seven, removed the wind plows from truck number one, three, number three, six, seven, and 10. Removed the batteries out of truck number eight. Put Coal patch out on Nichols Road, Doors Corner Road, and Deer Cove Road. Added gravel to and back, back dragged Pine Hill Road and Chapel Road. Tuesday, March 26. Checked all routes. Added gravel to and back dragged Broad Bay Road, Channel Road, Corner Pond Road, and Pine Hill Road. Removed the wing and tower from the grader. Wednesday, March 27, checked all the routes, added gravel to and back drag Pine Hill Road, Corner Pond Road, and Effingham Road. Filled in the potholes with gravel on Young's Road. Stockpiled gravel. Thursday, March 28, added gravel to and graded Fox Ridge Road, John Hodgson Road, and Duncan Lake Road. Added gravel to and back drag Thurley Road, Benz Road, and Valley Road. Repaired a hydraulic leak on the loader. Hydraulic leak on the loader. Friday, March 29. Checked all routes. Added stone to and back drag Thurley Road and Hodgson Shore Road. Stockpiled gravel. Replace two U joints in the front axles on truck number seven. Remove the sander and wing on truck number 10. Washed and steam cleaned truck number 10 and the backhaul. I have the minutes from the um, Economic Development Council meeting. I need a meeting, and those are posted online. So I have a contract for use of facilities, Jessica French, for a first birthday party, 
on April 28th. It's been approved by Craig and scheduled. I make a motion that we sign this. I second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. letter from the Town Freedom Board of Selectmen regarding the ambulance contract dated March 28, 2019. As, as you all should be aware, the current regional ambulance contract which you are a part of is set up to expire on March 31, 2020. Freedom Board of Selectmen would like to invite you as a selectman from your town to attend an organizational meeting Monday, 22, Monday April 22, 2019 at 6 p.m. at Freedom Town Hall. This is to begin the process of looking into a new regional contract and preparing an updated request for proposal. Please extend this invitation to your fire chief as well. Can you see that he gets a copy of this? Thank you. That's a Monday. Yes. <coughs> 6 p.m. I request for an extension of a cut number 18-375-43-T through June. I make a motion we grant this. I second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That's an extension for Timber, correct? Correct. If they don't, if a logger or does not have their cut finished, uh, completed by the March 31st, they, uh, in writing, ask for an extension, which will carry them until August 15. Thank you. I have a letter from Charter Communications. Um, they will be launching a video on demand fitness subscription channel. Uh, more than 100 channels available. Okay, you can all get fit. Uh, this is the DOT approvals for the 171 and 28 uh, roundabout. We did not sign them last time because of the uh, plant the uh, landscaping. Um, and I still don't want to sign the landscaping. So can we sign part of it? Uh, you did sign the work zone agreement two weeks ago. Is it still just the, it's still just the landscaping okay. agreement. So we're going to put this on, on hold until we figure out what we're doing with the landscaping. Thank you. I have the TAN or the TAN tax anticipation uh, note to be signed, uh, agreement to be signed. Um, last year we borrowed 1.6 million. Uh, we paid it back by the end of the year. This year we're looking to borrow. We borrowed 2 million. We we're two, right. We use 1.6. Sorry, we borrowed 2 million. This year we're looking at borrowing 2.5 million, which is payable at the end of the year. And that's until the taxes are paid in June. July 1st. July 1st. Thank you. I make a motion we sign this. I second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Sorry. I have a uh, from the State of New Hampshire Executive Council, Michael Cryans, Cryans uh, the minutes from the March 28 meeting. Uh, this is usually filed in the Selectman's office, if anyone would like to read it. <laughs> sides of the page so when you sign Greg I have the um, the quotes from the fencing companies yes. for the dog park 
Um, are you making a recommendation here? Yeah, I'm, I'm making a recommendation to go with the. Uh, Court? Yeah, for eight thousand okay. dollars. Yeah, the others are just the waiver on one of them was a little. So this bid is for eight thousand dollars, and this includes the fence, two single gates, one double gate, and all items are galvanized. Um, we had another just big piece. Um, we had another one from Good Neighbor Fence in Silver Lake. They just gave a total, which was $9,300. And then one more from American Fences for a sum of $13,200. The materials were $6,050 and the labor was $7,150. I make a motion that we go with the work fencing. I second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. These are the three purchases for the gravel? Yes. For, um, so which so what are you getting from each from Evans Brothers Berry Pit for twenty five thousand? Which what are you getting there? Well it's crushed. We use mostly crushed gravel, but we also use erosion stone, some bank run gravel. Okay. Um, it's kind of a combination of all of those. Same, all three of these? All three of the same. Okay. So, those are kind of broken out right. to how close the proximity to our roads that we work on to the pit. Right. That's why two of them are about the same, and one's a little lower than the other ones because they're about as close to a lot of the roads that we haul out of haul to. So, right. so Evans Brothers Berry Pit is twenty-five thousand. Osby Agro is twenty-five thousand, and Green Oaks Pit, pit which is on Duncan Lake Road, is fifteen thousand. Right. So you want to make motions? Yeah. Do you want to make a purchase order? Make a motion to do an open purchase order for these amounts. I second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. You're welcome. There was no thing here, so. So these are the quotes, Brad, on the sidewalk? Correct. Three different ones for the curbing, and one for the concrete aprons, and one for the paving. This first one's for the curbing, so they range from 14000 to $18,000. So there's a base bid and an alternate bid that have been totally, each one's totaled up also. Yes, they were just a little bit cheaper. Um, so yeah. Okay. And then um, tri-state curve for the concrete at fifteen thousand nine hundred and thirty-six dollars, and tri-state curve for. Straight vertical granite curve for fourteen thousand eight hundred and thirty-two dollars. We'll make a motion to include these purchases. Second. Also in favor. Aye. Aye. Use the facilities, June 
1st for Penny Sale on July 26th and August 18th for Bingo and the Main Street program. Pat Jones um, has been approved. Yeah, it's been approved by everybody. I make a motion to approve this application. Yes, I can. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Another contract for the use of facilities, Carroll County Attorney's Office, Sexual Assault Resource Team, SART, monthly meeting, last Thursday of the month, that be at the Freight House. I make this was approved? I talked to uh, them on the phone yesterday. Okay, I just didn't see your signature. Um, I make a motion we approve this. I second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. It's on map 266, lot 7, route 16. Total permanent area is 1,318, and excavation area is 30. Reclaimed area of acres as of April 1 of 202.8. Remaining cubic yards of earth to excavate. Stone 4,048, 4,000,000. 48,191 cubic yards, sand 25,786,44 cubic yards. Make a motion we approve the tip. I second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. to excavate. This is map 130, lot 10, route 16, total acreage of lot is 300. Total permanent area is 25 acres. Phase 1 excavation area and acres is 3, reclaimed area is 0. Remaining cubic yards of earth to excavate is 8,285,369. And make a motion we approve this intent to excavate. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Have a warrant for excavation tax for town of Ossipi. $666.32 with 18% interest rate, 10 to 19. Therefore, after all, sums not paid on or before that day. We, and we further order you pay all monies collected to the treasurer of said town at least on a weekly basis when receipts exceed $1,500 or more, often when directed by the Commission or of Revenue Administration. I make a motion we sign the excavation. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have a discretionary preservation easement application for Francis E. Lord at 20 Covered Bridge Road in West Ossipi. This is his historic New Hampshire barn. Make a motion we approve this preservation easement. I second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Department heads have already made their 
reports are free to go. We don't need to stay for the entire meeting. Unless you want to listen to us.